Hey beautiful soul, please listen the message. God wants to bless you with this video. So calm your mind and watch this video completely for the next 8 minutes. If you're watching this video today, then your guardian angels want to speak to you about a decision that may be looming in your life. You're about to get into a crossroads, and your angels are here to offer their guidance, love, and support as you navigate this path. The journey of life is full of surprises, twists, and turns, and one of the most significant moments you might encounter is when someone expresses their desire to marry you. Love is a powerful force that can bring joy, companionship, and a sense of completeness to our lives. Marriage is often seen as a sacred union, a commitment to walk through life together hand in hand. But what happens when this person who wants to marry you might be taking your friendship first? Before we delve into this topic, remember that your angels are always by your side, ready to provide you with insights and guidance. They're here to remind you that you have the power to make choices that align with your heart and soul. Let's explore this delicate situation together and discover the angelic wisdom that can help you make the best decision for your life. But before that, our Divine Father wants you to know something. Hear the tender call of my voice, my beloved child. From the very genesis of your journey, my hand has intertwined with yours, guiding you unwaveringly through the darkest valleys and the shadowy realms. Even when the world around you trembles with conflict and your vision is obscured by the storms of life, remember this, I am the steadfast beacon of hope in your life. This year, a divine promise unfolds before you, laden with blessings, prosperity, and the sweet fruits of recognition and respect. But know that this path requires not just your footsteps but also the unwavering faith of your heart in my eternal word, the word of the one who bore the cross for your ultimate victory. Do not be ensnared by feelings of unworthiness or shadows of doubt, for my love transcends all condemnation. You are chosen, a beacon of hope and a vessel of blessings for your family. Cast aside the chains of defeatism, for I am your ally in all endeavors. Draw strength from me daily, cleansing your thoughts of despair and embracing bravery in your faith. Nourish your soul with my teachings, let them be the sword and shield in the battles of your life. Adorn yourself with the virtues of humility and patience, and watch as the garden of your life blooms with blessings so wondrous they once seemed beyond the realm of possibility. Embrace your triumphs with simplicity, clothe them in humility and wisdom, and remember the glory of your victories, the spark of your success, the zeal of your enthusiasm, and the might of your visions, all forged through sacrifice, through the agonizing blows, the lashes, the bloodshed on the cross. There, on that hallowed ground, your future was written, and your forgiveness sealed. Embrace now the grandeur of glory born from the power of my resurrection. I vow to be by your side in moments both prosperous and challenging, to be your watchful guardian, your unwavering provider, your safe haven. Do not harbor thoughts of solitude or abandonment, for you are never alone in my presence. In times of defeat, do not succumb to despair or let negative emotions eclipse your blessings. My words are not idle, they are promises made and kept in me. Defeat has no dominion, let your heart be a sanctuary of my assurances, for you are held in my steadfast embrace. Reserve in your heart a sacred space for me, Here I reside. Reject the whispers of, I can't, I lack, I am not, for I am the embodiment of capability, abundance, and existence. Face your adversaries with courage, my child, 
for I am your constant companion. My provision is abundant, I am the source of your fulfillment. Listen to my guidance, obey, and march confidently towards your aspirations. Do not cast your eyes downward, lift your gaze, for I guide you by the hand, shielding you from harm. I am your loyal friend, the one who never falters, never deceives, never wavers. Accepting you wholly as you are, I share in your joy and your pain. I celebrate your victories, I support you in triumph, I uplift you in defeat, and I extend my hand when you are in need. I am Jesus, I am your Lord. Behold, I am ever present. Fear not, for I am your friend. Do not lose heart or grant your detractors the satisfaction of your downfall. Pursue your path for yourself, for those you love, but most importantly, in remembrance of my boundless love. Reflect upon my journey, a path of sorrow to a cruel cross, undertaken for you out of love, for forgiveness, for your liberation, for your healing, for your salvation. Remember in your most challenging moments, I am with you. Together, hand in hand, we will endure. Commit to perseverance, and I assure you of my unwavering presence, imbuing you with strength, encouragement, peace, confidence, solace, wisdom, courage, and joy. Open your eyes to the future, to your dreams and desires, they are not mere fantasies, they are seeds I have planted within you. Now, expel doubt and disbelief from your heart. Even if you find yourself amid scarcity, uncertainty, and injustice, remember this, this path has been tread before. I assure you, in this world, you will face trial. But take heart in my triumph, for I have overcome the world. Your heart, brave and steadfast, shall be ignited with the flames of joy and victory. You are a treasure of incomparable worth, your heart radiates beauty, your soul exudes purity, and your sincerity mirrors my own image. Feel the profound truth in this, you are a reflection of me, a spark of my creation. I breathe life into you, you belong to me. Your intelligence, diligence, and fearless spirit are testament to your divine inheritance. Your origins, wealth or lack thereof, the perfection or imperfection of your body, or the flawed perceptions of others, do not diminish your value in my eyes. Do not follow the path of those who turned away from me, who listened to their adversaries and believed themselves to be orphans, unworthy of love. They chose to forsake me, wandering lost and devoid of peace, comfort, or God. But I stand beside you steadfast. For so long, I have urged you to believe in my words, my word is truth, vibrant, powerful, and everlasting, infusing you with faith. It is consistently proven true. I am waiting for you to boldly step forward and claim your courage. Your adversaries are but shadows, fear them not. Their threats, guilt, remorse, and past memories are but feeble and ineffective tools against you. Choose to believe in me, it comes at no cost. You are never fated for failure. My purpose has always been to raise you to great heights, to be a beacon of faith, to lay hands on the sick and despairing and manifest my power through you. Stand firm in the tempests, wielding the power of my word to topple giants. This is how I envision you, a valiant, unbreakable warrior, embodying holiness, wisdom, humility, and heart, a hero of faith, victorious and triumphant. Embrace and declare this inherent worth within yourself. 
You are my cherished child, my beloved. My love for you is everlasting, unending. Confide in me, express your belief and love for me, I yearn to hear it. Let your voice carry these truths. Your importance to me is immeasurable, and it is my deepest wish for you to feel profoundly loved. Yet, I see times when you wake engulfed in sorrow so deep that it's cause eludes even you. It's an emotion that appears abruptly, as if your heart is striving to communicate something vital. Understand this, for it is essential, that feeling is your heart resonating with my Holy Spirit. In the quiet of the morning, my spirit whispers your name, beckoning you back when you start to drift away. But often, you're so entangled in the day's demands that you miss these moments to sit and recall my presence. And my spirit gently warns you, cautioning against the emptiness that's creeping in. The sadness you experience is a fervent plea from your soul, your spirit, your heart, all crying out in thirst, longing for the living water that heals, replenishes, and sweeps away the turmoil, restoring peace and serenity to your emotions. If you find yourself feeling desolate, harried within, it's a sign that you've been away from my presence for too long. This cannot continue, if this persists, your emotions will start to muddle in times of challenge instead of facing your trials with faith. These confused feelings might deceive you into believing I'm punishing you for unkempt promises or that I've forsaken you. But that is not my nature, I am not one to lie or deceive.